Hello, welcome to a Board Deck and Dice unboxing. Today I have uh, been sent the December Board Game Crate from boardgamecrate.co.uk, which is a crate subscription service. We're just gonna open it up and see what's inside. Some of the differing factors about Board Game Crate is they try to take into account your preferences and your uh, Board Game Geek list. So let's have a look uh, what we've got. Wow, okay. Well, that's a pretty impressive crate, actually. We have uh, Azul, which is um, a popular new tile laying game, and uh, No Thanks, which is a uh, small card game. So the combined value there is at least 40 quid. Um, I've seen Azul on uh, some sites go for about 35, but then you've got to add on postage. Uh, no thanks, yeah, around 10 quid, that's totally right. So that is a pretty good package. You also get some dice and some Haribo. Um, so the various options for uh, Board Game Crate are, uh, I think the lowest is three months and you're paying between 33 and 40 pounds, I think, depending on the uh, package. But I'll put the details in. But I have to say, if I was on a three month or more package, I'd be quite happy with that. So I thought I'd just do some thoughts on the board game crate, being as I've had two now. Uh, the first one I had, um, uh, I think September last year, I can't quite remember. Um, I got um, Camel Up and Harbour, along with some Go First dice, dice, which are really cool, and a little bag of Haribo. This time round, I got No Thanks, a bag of dice, Haribo, which has already been eaten by my son, and Azul. Now, uh, this one was particularly surprising. I was quite happy with the first one. I'd never played Camel Up. I was still um, relatively new to board games-ish, um, and it was one that would work perfectly for my family. I thought the value was um, kind of bang on the nose for RRP, um, when I shared the video in some of the Facebook groups, some people felt it was perhaps a bit tight on that area. Um, but when I looked, it, it seemed fine. Um, obviously, that was camel up price then. Now it's, it is available cheaper. This one, um, I think, is really good. <laughs> you can't get, no thanks, much cheaper than £10 new. And Azul is £35 to £40 uh, and very popular at the minute. So the value is kind of judged on that. Now, uh, the reason I'm doing this a little extra bit on the end is because I was speaking to my friend about this who was actually on the six month package with Board Game Crate and he got a very different package this month. He got, um, to remember the order now, Tesuru and um, uh, Portal Heroes, um, which I think value wise is is okay, more like the Camelot value. I think um, I think it had, Tesuru listed as a £30 RRP. I find that one hard to believe. I think when I looked, it was around 20 to 25 and I have seen it cheaper. Now, I know that's not RRP. Portal Heroes seems around 15 to 20 marks. So it's there or there around. And if you're on a more expensive plan, like a six-month plan, then the actual per crate price is cheaper. So um, the month before that, uh, November, he got um, Quest, for, Quest for Valeria, and uh, Gloom Fairy Tale. Now that one was one that he was quite disappointed with. I think I would have been disappointed with, with that one because it seems like two smaller games. Like outside of value, what you look for when you open a crate is the kind of whoosh. Um, I think Quest, Quest of Valeria is a good game. Gloom is not for me. Um, but that's one of the risks in the, in the board game crate kind of thing, which I'll talk about in a minute. Uh, another person who I saw that month got Abyss and then a smaller card game more in line with, with No Thanks. Um, and then the month before that, my friend got Seasons and uh, something else which I've forgotten about. I've forgotten what that was. So from one point of view, if you look at the last three months of Board Game Crate, they have had Seasons, Abyss and Azul in crates. Now, I don't know if anyone got all three of those crates, but... Wow, if they did, they've got to be happy. Um, but then the other side of that is this risk when you're doing a board game crate uh, thing. You don't always get 
what you want and you don't know what you're going to get and some months are going to seem worse than others particularly if you had an awesome month I mean if you'd had Abyss Seasons and Azul in three consecutive months and some smaller card games what you get next is going to be hard to match up to what you've had um, also what Board Game Crate do is they try to customise it a little bit to your preferences what you choose on their site um, and they've had a few issues doing this against the board game geek categories because under card game on board game geek lots of things are card games because they get listed as card games if they simply have cards in them so there is that side of things as well um, so I'm kind of I think this is great this is a great great um, I think out of the ones I've seen um, the seasons one was a great crate the Abyss one was a great crate, and this is a great crate. Camel Up um, was a good crate, a very good crate for me, but though some people wouldn't rate it like that. Um, the Tesoro and um, Portal Heroes, I think, that was a good one. And then the only the weakest one for me by far, and it's mainly that kind of first image thing, was the Quests of Valeria and Gloom. And again, that's because Gloom isn't my bag. Quests of Valeria feels like a smaller game than than perhaps it is just from the, the box and the packaging. Um, now you can select three types of game that you don't want, so you can select acting games and say that you don't want, but there is so many genres that you know that's going to be difficult. Um, so I just wanted to give a fair, honest appraisal. I think obviously if you're going to do it for six months, then the last three months there have been three outstanding games out of the selection. And if you stand a chance of getting any one of those, you have to decide whether that's worth your 30, 40 quid, quid a month. Um, particularly with Azul, Abyss, more difficult to get hold of as well. So um, there is that. Uh, so that is Board Game Crate. If you uh, fancy signing up, the details are all below. Um, I, I, In my position, I probably wouldn't sign up because my collection is so big, I think, for their... Uh, the way they work things out, it would struggle, and I'm getting new games in all the time to review. So, um, but if I wasn't reviewing, if I had uh, less money, and I wanted a surprise each month, I might look at it, um, or I might gift it to someone. Um, for newer gamers, I think it's really good, um, and for people wanting to expand their collection, I think it's it can be worth a shot. Um, but also bear in mind that you do get the quality but sometimes you're going to get the disappointment as well and perhaps some of that is because of the quality that you've had the month before. Thanks very much for watching Board Deck and Dice, I'll see you next time.